As you begin this journey, the health and wellness of both you and your baby are the primary responsibility of your healthcare team. This video is designed to provide important information about tests offered to all pregnant women so you can find out more about the health of your baby. First, let's review some basic biology that will help you better understand the tests that may be offered to you. Our bodies are made up of trillions of cells. Within each cell is our genetic material, or DNA. This DNA is the instruction manual that tells our bodies how to grow and develop. DNA is packaged into structures called chromosomes. We inherit our chromosomes from our parents. Sometimes an error can occur that leaves a sperm or egg with a missing or an extra chromosome. In this case, when the egg and sperm come together, the resulting pregnancy may have a missing or extra chromosome. One example of a genetic condition that can result from an extra chromosome is trisomy 21, which is often called Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a genetic condition that affects physical and mental development. There are a variety of methods or tests to help a doctor find out if you might be carrying a baby with a chromosome condition. Methods that can help assess the risk of one of these conditions are called screening tests. A screening test is not a definitive test or diagnostic, but helps your doctor decide if you may need further testing. It's routine for your doctor to offer you a blood test for Down syndrome during your pregnancy. These tests are commonly offered to all patients as part of routine prenatal care. However, this testing is optional. In addition to Down syndrome, there are two other conditions caused by an extra chromosome that are routinely tested for during pregnancy, trisomy 13 and trisomy 18. These conditions are more severe than Down syndrome and are often fatal. The risk of having a baby with a chromosome condition is influenced by the age of the mother and, in some cases, family history. As women get older, this risk increases, but there is some risk for every pregnancy to be affected by a chromosome condition. Besides trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, trisomy 13 and 18, there can also be changes in the number of sex chromosomes. The sex chromosomes are labeled X and Y and contain DNA that determine whether we are male or female. The most common combination for girls is two X chromosomes, and the most common combination for boys is one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. When we talk about changes in the number of sex chromosomes, we are talking about an extra X, an extra Y, or a missing X. Up until quite recently, there have not been screening tests for these conditions. The effects of these conditions are typically less severe than the other trisomies already discussed, but may include mild learning disabilities and sometimes infertility or the inability to have children. Many women want to know whether their pregnancy is likely to be affected by Down syndrome or other chromosome conditions. The test described in this video can help determine a pregnancy's risk for these conditions. All screening tests require a simple blood draw from the mother and pose no risk to the baby. In many cases, an ultrasound is also done along with the blood test to further define these risks. Until recently, doctors screened for Down syndrome and trisomies 18 and 13 by measuring proteins in a blood sample from the mother. These traditional blood tests are often combined with an ultrasound measurement at the back of the baby's neck called the nuchal translucency ultrasound to improve the accuracy of the results. This type of screening can only be done during certain times in the pregnancy, depending on the test between 11 and 19 weeks. Detection rates, or the chance that the test would correctly identify a pregnancy that had one of these conditions, range from 80 to 92% for Down syndrome, trisomy 18, and trisomy 13. Sometimes a test can indicate a high risk from one of these conditions when the baby actually doesn't have it. This is called a false positive result. With these traditional testing methods, about 1 in 20 women will receive a false positive result indicating that their baby may have one of these conditions but later find out their baby does not. Recently, a new type of blood test for Down syndrome in trisomies 18 and 13 has become available that has a higher detection rate and a lower false positive rate. It measures DNA from you and the baby rather than proteins, making it more precise than traditional screening tests. This option is known as cell-free DNA testing. Your doctor has chosen to offer a type of cell-free DNA testing called the Harmony Prenatal Test. Your blood contains small pieces of DNA from you and your developing baby. 
The Harmony prenatal test is a new type of test that takes a small sample of your blood and analyzes the DNA from you and your baby to determine your pregnancy's risk for Down syndrome, trisomy 18, and trisomy 13. With this test, you and your doctor also have the option to test for conditions caused by having an extra or missing copy of the X or Y chromosome. The Harmony prenatal test requires a simple blood draw and can be done as early as 10 weeks of pregnancy. Clinical tests show that Harmony will detect greater than 99% of Down syndrome cases with a very low false positive rate. Less than 1 in 1,000 women will have a false positive test result with Harmony. This is at least 50 times lower than traditional blood screening tests. It's important to remember that no screening test is designed to detect all possible problems with a pregnancy or provide a definitive or diagnostic result, but screening tests do help identify pregnancies where there is a higher risk for one of these conditions. For that reason, all women whose test results show an increased risk should be offered a diagnostic test to determine for sure if the pregnancy is affected. There are two types of diagnostic tests that can provide definitive results about genetic conditions during a pregnancy. They are chorionic villus sampling, also known as CVS, and amniocentesis. These diagnostic tests are also called invasive tests because they involve a procedure, usually with a needle, which retrieves cells from inside the womb or uterus. CVS can be done between 10 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. This test removes a small sample of cells from the placenta using a needle or narrow tube. All chromosomes within these cells are studied to determine if there are any extra or missing chromosomes. CVS has a greater than 99% detection rate for all chromosome conditions. Because this procedure is invasive, there is a small risk for miscarriage following the procedure. An amniocentesis is performed after 15 weeks of pregnancy. Amniotic fluid contains cells from the baby floating in it, and a small sample of this fluid is removed using a needle that is inserted through the belly. Similar to CVS, all chromosomes within the cells are studied to see if there are any extra or missing chromosomes. An amniocentesis has a very high detection rate of greater than 99.8% for chromosome conditions, but also carries a small risk for miscarriage. Diagnostic testing may be performed if a woman is at a high risk to have a baby with a chromosome condition. This can be the case when one of the screening tests that we have talked about indicates a high risk result. Other reasons for your doctor to recommend diagnostic testing may be due to certain ultrasound findings or some concern about risk due to family history. However, there can be many reasons for why a woman may choose diagnostic testing. Testing for chromosome conditions is commonly offered during pregnancy and can provide valuable, clear information about what to expect in your pregnancy. If you have any questions, please talk them over with your doctor. You and your doctor may decide it's best for you to see a specialist in genetic testing called a genetic counselor. These are specially trained professionals who can help sort through possible risks related to family history or suggest specific kinds of testing. We hope this information helps you to choose the option that feels right for you and your family. Best wishes to you and your baby.